I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an application of squeeze theorem. Let me first remind you what squeeze theorem is. This is how we describe squeeze theorem, right? So if we have three functions, f of x, g of x, and h of x, and g of x is squeezed between these two, right? So in statement, we write like this. If f of x is less than or equal to g of x, which is less than or equal to h of x, when x is near a, except possibly at a, so that gives you the concept of limits, right? And limit as x approaches a for f of x is equal to limit when x approaches a for h of x and that is equal to a value, real value, L. Then the limit x approaches a for g of x is also L, right? So, so basically we are saying that the limit of the function in between which is squeezed from both the sides is same as the limits of those two functions if those two are equal, right? So exactly same, right? So that is what squeeze theorem is. Based on this theorem, many questions can be solved, especially with sine function and cosine function. Here we have an example. We need to show that limit when x approaches 0 for this function, which is square root of x cubed plus x squared sine 1 over x is 0. So we'll apply the squeeze theorem and solve this particular question. So whenever you apply squeeze theorem in this case, the idea is start with the sine function. So we have sine 1 over x. Now sine function, what is the range of this function? It could be between plus and minus 1, right? So it is always greater than or equal to minus 1 and less than or equal to plus 1. Now here we have a function which is sine 1 over x times all that square root. Now square root function is always positive, right? It is always positive. So you can multiply that to all the three terms. So we could write this as now when I multiply by square root function, which is square root x cubed plus x squared, negative because of the negative one is less than equals to this also gets multiplied, which is x cubed plus x squared sine pi 1 over x is less than or equal to 1. So that means the value of this function, that times sine 1 over x will be 1, I should have written 1 times square root, let me, let me just, square root of, I'm sorry, uh, x cubed plus x squared, right? So it is between these two values. Now we are talking about the limit of this function. So let's check what happens when x approaches a, a is 0 for us, right? So that's kind of definition. So when you are approaching 0, then what happens to these values, right? So let's figure this out. So mathematically, we could write this as limit x approaches 0 for this function, which is negative x cubed plus x squared between limit x approaches 0 for x cubed plus x squared sine 1 over x should be less than or equal to limit x approaches 0 for square root of x cubed plus x squared. Right, so this limit is basically in between these two limits. Now if I prove that the limits of the function on the left side and on the right side is 0, then using the squeeze theorem, we can say that the limit of the function right there in the center should also be 0. Right, that's the concept, correct? So let's let's prove that part now. So let's find basically the limit of the two functions on the boundaries, right? The f of x and the g of x stated in the definition, right? So let's figure that limit out. So now we'll find limit as x approaches zero for this function, which is minus square root of x cubed plus x squared. So when you say x cubed plus x squared, we could actually uh, factor, okay, let me just, just write x cubed plus x squared. Now if I substitute zero here, what do I get? I get zero square root, which is zero. Do you see that? And also, if I find limit for x approaches zero for 
positive value of x cubed plus x square that is also 0. So what we notice here is that these two limits are approaching L, a real number which is 0. Do you see that? These two limits are 0, correct? And therefore, we can say that the limit of, let me write down here like this, push this a bit to the top so that you can see it, of square root of x cubed plus x square sine 1 over x is also between these two zeros and so we can say that this is equal to zero. Do you see that? Using the squeeze theorem. So this is from squeeze theorem we could prove this, right? So it has been proved using squeeze theorem that the limit of this function as x approaches zero is zero since it is both the sides it has been squeezed between two zeros. Do you see that? So that is how you could actually apply the squeeze theorem and find the limit of some trigonometric functions. I hope that helps. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Feel free to post questions and like if you like. Thank you and all the best.